Okay, welcome to the Mayfield Regional Arts Information video. My name is Heike Bronson. I'm one of the Vice Principals at Mayfield and I'm also the Coordinator for the Regional Arts Program. And I'll be your host for the video presentation. So I wanted to start by saying that the Regional Arts at Program at Mayfield is an amazing opportunity to be immersed in any of the, four of the arts for your four-year high school career. It will include an extraordinary learning opportunities like the specialized instruction you'll get in your arts courses combined with unique experiences of traveling both locally and abroad. Then there's also a whole host of extracurricular activities that you can try as part of this four year experience. Here are the four areas you can focus on. We've got dance, drama, vocal music, instrumental music, and visual arts. Here's what our students have to say about Mayfield. We embrace our three A's, so athletics, arts, and academics. Mayfield is really, really inclusive. Immediately, I found a place here. We have games running after school and sometimes during school, also tournaments that we go to, outside doing like ROPSA, OFSA, but overall it's just a great experience. Arts opens you up to being creative, it puts you in a different state of mind, and it actually does fit into um, a lot of math and uh, science programs. A big thing that we learn here at Mayfield is uh, dedication and compassion for everything that you do, and I think that's something very important that you can carry over to your career. The teachers are very passionate, not only about what they're teaching, but how they're teaching it. It's having class discussions and doing experiments. There's so many different types of ways students learn, and teachers definitely accommodate that. Mayfield, great place to be. So the key thing to remember is that you need to live north of the 401 to apply to May Mayfield. So if you're currently attending a school that's in the Peel District School Board, or in the Dufferin Peel District School Board, or a, a private school, and you live in the Peel region, you are eligible to apply. For students who live outside of the Peel region, you can also apply, and, be, and you'll be offered a spot once the local students have applied and can be accommodated. If you need more information about finding your school, there is a school locator that you can um, access using this link. So all regional programs are based on the Ontario curriculum in each of our four disciplines, as well as your, all, your other core subjects will all be the Ontario curriculum. The application for process for the Regional Arts Program is a Grade 9 entry. So in Grade 9 you enter the programs. There are eligibility criteria. Those are specific things that you need to actually adhere to to be eligible for the program. And then there is an application process and those dates are really important. So November 9th at 8.30 opens up and the 23rd at 8.30 it closes. So the application link is here, so it's the peelschools.org regional programs, and it's the secondary link, which is a gray tab that you're looking for. The timelines that are really important for you, just to make sure that you have enough information to make a great decision, the first thing is to really get information about our program, and our information night is on October 27th at 7 p.m. This session, this evening session will include a whole group introduction about what the regional arts program is, followed by specific breakout rooms for each discipline. So even if you are remotely interested in any of the arts, you should attend this session to learn more about our program. Then the application period, you need to be very aware of that. Um, once you've November 9th to the 23rd again, uh, we will not take any lead applications, so you must adhere to that. And then the other key date is if you're getting an acceptance into the program, February 1st, we'll be sending out our first round of offers and you have until the 8th to accept the offer. Then on the 9th, um, you will get an, a, another round of offers will be sent out and you have till the 16th. 
And then depending on how many offers are accepted, we will continue to go to our wait list until the end of June, so June 30th. So that's the app, those are the important application dates. There will be an opportunity for all African, Black, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis students to self-identify as part of the application process. Based on this self-identification, those students who have met the criteria for admission will be accepted into the program without participating in the random selection process. The random selection process is completed at the board level and not at the school level, and we will be talking about that more later in this presentation. There's important information about the fees is that there is an application fee of $40 that's non-refundable, as well as an annual program fee. And that fee for the regional arts program is $200. Okay, so with regards to those fees, there, are, there is uh, financial support available. Um, the first fee, which is the application fee, if you need some assistance with that, please connect with the elementary school principal and they can help with the, um, to get you the necessary information. And for the program fees, if you need that support with the program fees, you can contact our office assistant who is in the RAP office or call extension 452 at Mayfield once you've been accepted and we can get you the information. And I just want to emphasize that many of our students access this financial support and it really is something that we would recommend to make sure that you can be included in this awesome opportunity. All right, so once you've applied, you should get a confirmation email once your application has been submitted. So just want to uh, stress here that you need to complete your entire application and submit and make sure all the questions are answered and all the information is there. Don't panic if you don't get an instantaneous reply because it does take 24 hours. So wait 24 hours before you contact us if you did not receive a confirmation email. But make sure you contact us if you don't get that. It's very important. All right, the random selection process has got two components to it. So the first piece is that you apply online, then you submit your participation component, which we'll talk a little bit more about momentarily, and you attend your virtual interview. If you meet the criteria for the program, then your application will go into what's called a random selection process, and that happens for each of the di disciplines, dance, drama, visual arts, vocal music, instrumental music. It's a computer that does the selection and it assigns a number to each applicant who successfully met the criteria. And then based on that number, you will be offered, made an offer in that order. So the participation component, um, the two components uh, for music, dance and drama. One is a recorded performance and the second part will be a virtual conversation. The details for those are on the website and you should look them up. There'll be, a, there'll be detailed information. And I would strongly recommend that you have a peek at that before you come to our virtual information night so that if you have any questions, you can ask them. Similarly for visual arts, there's an online portfolio that you'll complete and there's also a video interview. And all the information about what that means is on our website and would strongly recommend that you have a look at that um, if you're at all interested. All right, now with regards to the offers, each program has a specific number of spots. For the regional arts program, we have 56 spots in each one of our disciplines, dance, drama, music, and visual arts. And so what we do is we will send out that offer on February 1st to 56 people, and then we will hear back to see how many people have accepted the offer. If 50 people accept the offer, then we will send out a second round of offers to this, for the six remaining spots to the next people on our list, and they will have to, an opportunity to accept the offer. And let's say three accept the offer, then we would send out another three to the next people on our list for them to accept the offer. And that will continue until the program is full. If you're a student who applied to multiple programs 
and you accept an offer, then you are automatically removed from the other programs that you've applied to. And the spaces continue to stay available until all the spots are filled. And that will be, so if people change their mind anytime after they've even accepted an offer, then we will continue to go to our wait list until June 30th of 2021. Uh, just a note with regards to students who are not currently in a Peel District School Board, uh, you will need to require, provide us with documentation online uh, in addition to your application. So it's either on, an, an online submission or you can email it directly to the school and be prepared to provide us with the uh, original documentation at a later date. The other key thing I just wanted to stress is that transportation is not provided for students in the regional arts program. Except for students who live in our school boundary, they will be eligible for transportation. Um, that's through the stop bar. There is local trans transportation through Brampton Transit, so many of our students do get to the program using Brampton Transit. And we will have a new feature for last for next year, and that's a, a carpool program. So stay tuned for more information about that. Um, many of you may also know about a private school bus transportation piece. Um, so that's a fee-based service, and what families have done there is they've directly connected with a third-party company. So you're very feel free to do that, but we just wanted to let you know that um, the school neither the school or the Peel Board is connected or responsible to any of the aspects of this um, private school bus transportation piece. All right, to wrap up, you've heard a lot today. You've heard a lot of information. Um, really important for you to come to our virtual information night. It'll be such a great opportunity to actually see some of our staff, um, to hear about some of the different pieces of the program, um, to hear again about the what you need for the different participation, how to apply, you'll get all that information again, um, and there'll be breakout rooms. So if you're really interested in dance, drama, music, visual arts, you'll get to go into these smaller rooms, ask your questions, um, and I really can highly recommend that that's, that's a, a date you put on your calendar. The other thing is if you really want to talk to someone, um, we have our office assistant is very experienced. You can call it a wrap office. As I've said earlier, the extension is 452 and get information there. The other key features is we have a brand new Mayfield wrap video, uh, sorry, website that has all kinds of information on it. We have our Mayfield Secondary School um, website, which you would just go to the Regional Arts tab. And also through the uh, appeal board, there's the regional programs link. So lots of information. So I'd like to wrap up by um, giving you over to our principal, Mr. Jim Kardash, for a few closing words. All right, so you've had a chance to see the PowerPoint presentation on the RAP program, the application process, whatnot, real important stuff. Listen, if you have a passion for dance, drama, music, visual arts, this is the place for you. You live north of the 401. We look forward to seeing your application real soon. Be well.